No, you're going the wrong way, Armadillo. The delicious earthworms are over here. Oh, apparently he just, he's, he'll just walk across water. He is the Moses, the Jesus of Armadillos. Look at him go. Hello everybody, Gray still plays and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS, we gotta go into our rainforest biome here and make sure that things are flourishing. Plus, I want to get the opportunity to put some new creatures down, which would be very neat. Oh, we got a weekly income! This is interesting. We got three of these, what exactly are these things called again? I guess I'll just call them like Taito coins or something. Our animal diversity, our average health, seems to be pretty darn good, and our diversity and health on that is also quite good. And we got weak sauce! <laughs> weak sauce! W-E-E-K. Well done! Let me give you the clap. Let me give you the golf clap. Well done. You survived a week. Just 51 more of these, and you might have an achievement that's actually impressive. Okay, I like the humor. It's good, clean humor. I, I can appreciate... I can appreciate that. So let's look at what we have here. We got a couple of creatures. Oh, there's our... Get out of the way, Fern. We have our little ocelot here that's kind of snipping around and sneaking around. Now let's go ahead and build some more things for sure, though. I do want to get some more of these consumers in or i should say uh producers ah, some of them producers some of them are consumers let's see we've got armadillos we got to unlock that with coins but that should be pretty new we have these moths here too i'm kind of curious about these i guess let's put some of these down actually you know what Let's go ahead and see if we can put down some new plants. That should be pretty neat, too. We've got... What do we got here? We have figs, pineapple, papaya. Man, there's all kinds of cool stuff. Now, you have to unlock quite a bit of it. We have the zebra plant here if we wanted to unlock it for 10 coins. The orchid. The Hela... Heliconia? Hmm. Let's go ahead and unlock one of these zebra plants, because that seems like it would be pretty cool. And let's put one of these down. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put these kind of over... We'll start We'll start moving across our... Where do I want to put these? Let's move back a little bit. I want to start moving kind of over here, and we'll start progressing toward this side of the map. I think that should be cool. Let's go ahead and do this zebra plant one more time. We'll put this right about here here um actually can we get it even a little bit closer perhaps this way it's kind of in line with our other guys there we go now even now even our other guys can help out with that we'll put some more critters over here i do believe we can do armadillos for 10 uh we can put down ant which is scavengers as well Let's see, should we unlock some armadillos? What kind of other creatures do we have to unlock? The blue morpho, which looks like a type of, like, a butterfly? It's a pollinator. A frog, a yellowfoot tortoise. Oh, what is that? A cotamundi. <laughs> uh, a marsh deer. Taper. Man, there is all kinds of stuff. And eventually you can get stuff like cougars as well. Ooh, that looks pretty darn cool. Let's go ahead and unlock this armadillo. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and put down one of those. And we'll put down... And Now, he's an insectivore. So, let's go ahead and put down one of these right about over here. There we are. And we want to make sure that... Did I just put down the ant? Oh, I sure did. Okay, that's all right. We'll put down the armadillo as well because I want to make sure to get those guys down. Let's put these guys down. Where am I allowed to put these down? Right about here. There we go. And those are in line with all the foods and ants and everything as well. There we go. Now we got some armadillos out. Let's go ahead and click on one of these armadillos and look at our biodex. This is kind of cool. So they like... Insects are always on the menu for armadillos. Yes, armadillos will eat just about every type of insect and can even use their powerful nose. Oh, we just got another achievement to smell insects that are deep in their ground. They aren't picky about their food, however, though they eat mostly insects and invertebrates. They will also eat small reptiles and mammals. Ooh, okay. Uh, they are an important prey animal for many larger creatures, including cougars, eagles, wolves, bobcats, and jaguars. So it looks like the armadillos actually are not going to get all beaten up 
by our ocelots, which is kind of nice. Now, I think one of the things that I'd like to do here, let's go ahead and take a look at our overview of what we've got going on. We have a couple of plants over here, not really too much though. Let's go ahead and put some additional plants over here. I feel like a rainforest should have plenty of plants, you know what I mean? And we have plenty of energy right now, and I'd like to use it all. So let's go over to these ferns, and we'll go ahead and put down a few over here. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And we'll put these, I don't know, maybe about right over here, like this. And then I think we're going to go ahead and put down another decomposer. Now, there's a few we have here, like these earthworms and these millipedes. I think, now these are all quite costly, actually. Well, these are both 50. But I think I'd like to get the chance to try one of these. Let's go ahead and do earthworms. Those should be pretty cool. Yes, I would like to unlock those. Oh, okay. Oh, you get 50 earthworms. The cost is 30. Got it. Let's put those kind of right in the middle of all this hollabaloo. Where are we allowed to put this? Right about here? Uh, there we go. Let's do that. There. Yes. That looks pretty decent so far. We've actually got a cute little kind of river-based area going on here. Now, remember, if you scroll all the way in, if you wanted to, you could take pictures of your various little critters, or we can just kind of zoom in and take a look around at what's going on. We got a couple of guys over here. Let's go ahead and click on one of them and see how he's doing. Oh, he's dead. Man down. Kind of wonder why he died. Oh, we've got another one over here that's dead as well. Now, it looks like their average hunger... It says 74. So, maybe we want to go ahead and, like, put some more food over here. Or maybe these guys are just doing, like, a little bit too much to these guys. I'm not really sure. Let's see if we can put maybe another smattering of... Uh, ag agoutis down. All right. Let's go ahead, maybe right about over... Can we get these kind of going over here? Yeah, we can. There we are. Let's put those guys right about there. And maybe we'll even get some more plants and such over here. We have some other, we have some other decomposers as well, like these mushrooms. I feel like those might be good to have kind of in the area as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can get those down. We're not allowed to place those there. Let's move back a little bit. There we are. Let's see if we can kind of put these guys... How about closer to the water? Oh, we can get these real close to the water. Yeah, we'll put those right about there. And I think it looks like there's a couple even over by this island. Oh, look at this guy way over here! He's just... These guys can really meander. This armadillo is wandering all over the place. So it looks like we're going to want some plants and such kind of spread out everywhere. Let's see how this ocelot is doing. Oh, his hunger is doing pretty good. We're getting some mushrooms down here. Surrounding Ditrius is reduced. And overall, it looks like our biome is doing just fine. So what we want to do is kind of continue and see if we can, can, and see if we can get more of these. Um, oh, you can spend these to get more energy if you wanted to, but I certainly don't want to. I just kind of want to keep our energy the way it is. Maybe we'll even fast forward a little bit because fast forwarding makes your energy move right along. And it doesn't look like the critters are fast forwarded. It just looks like time is fast forwarded. So that's not that bad. Let's see how these bunch of guys are doing. The occupancy is four of 18. Here we have 10 of 18. And 742 days until repopulation. Wow. Their hunger's way down, though, at least, because the hunger level on these guys was kind of up. How's our armadillos doing? They look pretty good that they have their ants over there. Looks like they enjoy that. I imagine they probably enjoy maybe eating the earthworms as well. Let's go into the biodex and find out about these. They're decomposers. They eat detrius, obviously. They help to break down decaying matter so that it can be reused by other organisms in the ecosystem. All right. Without decomposers like earthworms, ecological waste would pile up and there wouldn't be enough room for anything new. Well, that sucks. An earthworm is a delicacy for many types of animals, and there it is, including the armadillos, which certainly fancy themselves with a nice, juicy earthworm. Mm. 
Not my particular favorite delicacy, but whatever. I think that's pretty cool. Now, see, we have plenty of energy to continue using, so let's go and use it. Let's put down some more earthworms. I think I'm going to go ahead and put these guys over here. Let's see where I can put these guys down. Let's move out a little bit. Actually, let's use this for a little bit. Let's try this particular... Oh, yeah, you can see pretty darn good up here. Let's put these guys over here. Put down some additional earthworms. Let's get into our different critters here. Now, we have some ocelots. We don't have too many, but it looks like the ones that we have are just fine. Let's put down a pollinator. We don't have too many pollinators, and I'd like to make sure that these plants can easily get pollinated as they need to be. In fact, let's make sure that there's some over here as well. Where would, be, where would we be allowed to put this? Right about here. There we go. That should be pretty cool. Let's zoom in and take a look at how our pollinators are doing. Now, that's neat. We got a couple of moths over here just kind of jambalaying around. You know, flitting about, doing their pollination and such. Let's go ahead and click on the moths and see what it has to say. The most moths can't resist the sweet taste of flower nectar. By sipping nectar from flowers, moths pick up pollen and then they fly to a new flower. The pollen is deposited, deposited fertilizing the flower and allowing it to make fruit or seeds. So most, many insectivores eat moths. Okay, so our guys over there, like the armadillos, are actually going to do quite, wood, quite good. In fact, they have probably all types of delicious things to eat. And this agouti here seems to be doing well. He's so young that he doesn't even have... Oh, there he goes. At first, I didn't think he had a set of fur. But maybe he grew into it? I don't know. Maybe that's just a, a little... Oh, I see. That's how you know which one you've selected on. It just kind of, you know, moves around, I guess. So these guys definitely need pollination, and that's why it's good that we have our moths over here. Now, can you click on these individual moths? Man, they would be hard to click on. No, okay. They're more like an area effect... I don't know what to call it, like an area effect spell or something. I'm not really sure how you would describe something like this. Let's see what else we can do to put down... What else do we have here? What is this? Oh, these are different zones. Oh. Unlocking zone 2 will cost this much. Oh, you can unlock all these different zones yet. I see. That's pretty darn cool. All right. So, man, there is always something to kind of work toward in this game. Let's go back to where we were. There we are. And what does this show us? Okay, that just shows us whatever species we're currently clicked on. Let's move more into our different species and see if we can do anything in particular. Maybe another zebra plant over here might be nice, perhaps. These ocelots could always use more to eat. Yeah, we'll put down another zebra, zebra plant right over there. That looks like it should be pretty good. And at this point, I think one of the things that we're going to need to do is make sure that we can continue getting these little coins so that we can kind of continue to unlock all these different items. Now, how are these how are these earthworms doing? If we click on this, does it do anything? No. Okay, I was just curious. 13 days so far inside of our little biome, which means that two weeks is actually coming up, and I kind of wonder if at two weeks we'll get another little achievement. Can give it a shot. Let's find out what's going way over here. We've got a little armadillo that's kind of wandered way over here. Perhaps we should put some insects on this side of the field just in case. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll go and put down some earthworms over here. Right about like... Right about like... This. There we are. Just in case the armadillo wants something to eat. Oh, and you can see him. He's super happy about this. This guy's like, Yes, Gray. You've done it. You've done exactly what I wanted you to. Now I don't have to starve to death and die so that my bones can be decomposed by fungus and earthworms. No, you're going the wrong way, Armadillo! The delicious earthworms are over here. Oh, apparently he just, he's, he'll just walk across water. He is the Moses, the Jesus of Armadillos. Look at him go. Oh, we've got a weekly income. We got nine more of these tokens. That's pretty cool. Our score is 100% for both, so everything is doing quite well. 
that's great guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just kind of keep our biome growing we've got quite a bit of area to utilize for our biome and it looks like all of our creatures are for the most part pretty happy there's not too many there's not a lot of occupancy in those ocelots over there these guys are doing okay i guess their health and their hunger is is totally fine i mean they should have plenty to eat and drink there's plants everywhere which is good there should be some pollination going on here at the very least i would hope from these moths in fact maybe we'll put some more moths down let's go over here real quick there we are and let's go to these moths and we'll put down a few more we'll put down some right over here like this and then we'll put down some right over here right about here so that any plants that i start to expand over in this area can continue to get pollinated which is nice nothing seems to be like flowering yet so to speak but i think as as time goes on i mean it's only been 15 days so we have plenty of time left and it looks like the area that we have to use is of a decent size quite honestly here's our overview of our different little critters just so you can take a look at what i'm doing so far guys hope you're enjoying taito ecology so far this is really my kind of game like i said kind of nice and and the very soothing the music is very soothing the game itself is super smooth and i gotta say the developer did a great job for their first game until the next time guys stay foxy and much love